There are many potential applications of carbon nanotubes, and some where they're already in use. The main things stopping their wider use at the moment are their relatively high cost, difficulty to mass produce and purify, and the need for proper toxicity testing. Nanotubes have lots of amazing properties, and each of these leads to many potential applications. They are very strong, up to 100 times stronger than steel and only one sixth of the weight, so researchers are mixing them with plastics as reinforcers in the future to make lighter, safer, more fuel-efficient aircraft, bridges, cars, wind turbines, etc. This technology has already been used in bikes used in the Tour de France, and you can buy tennis rackets and golf clubs made this way, although they're not that cheap. This technology could also lead to stronger, more wear-resistant hip implants. Fibres made from carbon nanotubes are extremely strong, light, tough and resistant, better than Kevlar. There are even proposals to make cables of carbon nanotubes strong enough to carry an elevator up into space, although this is pure science fiction at the moment. In electronics, nanotubes are due to make a big impact. Due to their pointy shape, nanotubes are good at emitting electrons, so people are designing new flat panel displays using nanotubes. They make the ultimate molecular wires for computers, with much lower resistance than current technology, less chance of breaking down, and also ultra-efficient at conducting away the huge amount of heat generated in microchips. People are also working on completely new microchip designs, where nanotubes act as wires in three dimensions, instead of current flat designs. And computer memory is already available using the flexing of nanotubes to store information. Researchers are exploring the use of nanotubes in supercapacitors for storing electricity for electrical cars, and in new battery designs that can hold more energy and wear out slower. The chances are that there are already nanotubes in either your mobile phone or laptop battery. Nanotubes also have potential in the next generation of solar cells, for example as a way of getting the electrical energy out of the cell once it is generated. Nanotubes can have other chemicals attached to their surface and there are groups studying the use of nanotubes as carriers for medical drug delivery, for example to make more targeted and less toxic anti-cancer treatment or with fluorescent markers for medical diagnostics. The number of potential applications is vast, even if at the moment there are not many products you can go out and buy with nanotubes in them, and those that are are mainly high-end sports equipment. 